Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we will try to create a WordPress plugin using ChatGPT. So let's start by writing the prompt. So here I'll just type, I want to create a WordPress plugin. And let's type how to get started. And let's press enter. So here we can see it has generated this response. And these are the steps we can use to create a WordPress plugin. Right now, let's ask ChatGPT to write the code for the plugin. So let's type, write me code for a WordPress plugin, which displays a pop-up on the screen. I want to name the plugin Modern Pop-up. And let's press enter. And here we can see that it has started giving us this response. Right, while this is being generated let's go ahead and install wordpress locally so we're going to use this tool called local and you can just go to localwp.com and you can download this to install wordpress locally on your system so you can just click on this button called download for free and just select your operating system and uh, enter your details and click on get it now i have already installed local on my system so let's open local and here i already have some sites created so let's click on new site and let's click on create new site and let's click on continue and i'll just name it gt coding and uh, let's click on continue and here i'll just select the preferred environment and let's click on continue and uh, let's add some username and password and let's click on add site And now here we can see we have this new site created called GT Coding and uh, now we can just click on WP Admin and uh, let's go ahead and enter the username and password and let's press enter and this is how the admin area of our WordPress website looks. So let's click on this uh, button called visit site and this is our site so this is how it looks right now. We just have one post over here and it has uh, this comment. So this is a basic site with the default post by WordPress. Now let's go ahead and go back to ChatGPT. And I think something went wrong. So let's click on regenerate response. Right here we have the code for the plugin. Let's see whether all the code was generated. So here we have the main file of the plugin. And then we have the JavaScript and then we have some CSS. So let's go ahead and add this to our website. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open this folder, WP content and in that we have the plugins folder. So for that, let's go back to local and here you can click on go to site folder. So here we can see all these sites are displayed over here. Let's go to GT coding and you have to go into app public and in that you have to go to WP content and in that we have the plugins folder. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder. So let's go back to ChatGPT and uh, here we can see it says we need to create a folder called modern popup. And in that we need to create a file called modern popup.php. So let's go back to the folder and uh, here let's create a new folder and uh, let's name it modern popup. Right now I'll just open this in VS Code. I'll just tap code dot. And here we can see we have the folder opened in VS Code. Now let's go ahead and create a new file called modern-popup.php. And we need to copy the code over here. So let's go back to ChatGPT. And let's copy this code from here. And let's go back and paste it right here. Right now let's go back to ChatGPT. And uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to create a JavaScript file. So let's create a new file called modernpopup.js and let's go back and uh, let's copy this JavaScript code from here and let's paste it over here and let's go back and uh, we need to also copy this CSS. So we need to create a file called modernpopup.css. So let's copy this CSS from here and let's create a file called modern-popup.css and let's paste the CSS over here. Right now let's go back to ChatGPT and uh, let's scroll down. And now we can see it says activate the modern pop-up plugin from the WordPress dashboard. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard and uh, let's go to plugins. 
And here we can see our plugin is displayed over here called Modern Popup. Now if you go back to our VS Code and if you go to the PHP file, here we can see this is the name of the plugin. So you can change the name over here. So if I just change this to GT Modern Popup. Now if you go back and if I refresh this page, here you can see the name has changed over here. In the same way, you can go ahead and change all these details. So you can change the plugin URI, the description, the version number, your name and uh, the author URL and all those things over here. Right now let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's click on activate. And now let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And here we can see we have this pop-up displayed and uh, if I click on close, the pop-up goes away. If I open any other page, we can see that the pop-up is displayed once again. So our plugin is working all right. Now you can go ahead and add some CSS to this uh, pop-up and make it look awesome. So if you go back to our code, here we can see this is the HTML. So you can add any element over here for the plugin. Right now we just have a paragraph, which is this paragraph right here. And then we have this close button. Now you can add anything you want over here. You can add image, you can add bullet points and a lot of things over here in this uh, pop-up. And here in the CSS, you can go ahead and change this to look however you want it to look. And then here we have the JavaScript. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to this plugin. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to display this pop-up after some time. So we will display it after five seconds after the page load. And then the next thing we need to change is that when we click on this close button, it should store a cookie inside this browser and uh, when we refresh this page, the pop-up should not be displayed once again. So we will store this cookie for a specific amount of time and after that, the cookie will be deleted and then this pop-up will be displayed once again. So let's go back to ChatGPT and make those changes. So here I'll just type, I want to make some changes in the JavaScript. The pop-up should be displayed five seconds after the page load. And once the close button is clicked, it should store a cookie for three days. And if the cookie is available in the browser, then the pop-up should not be displayed or else the pop-up should be displayed. Please make these changes in the JavaScript and let's press enter. So here we have the updated code and uh, let's go ahead and copy this JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here I'll just select all of this and paste the updated code. So here we can see in this code it is first of all checking whether we have a cookie called modern pop-up closed and here we are creating the cookie called modern pop-up closed and we are setting the value to true. So let's go back to our website and uh, let's see whether everything is working all right. So let's refresh this page. And here we can see after five seconds, this pop-up was displayed. Now, if I click on this close button, and now if we refresh this page, and if we wait for five seconds, we can see that the pop-up is displayed no more. So let's open one of these posts. And here also, we don't have the pop-up displayed. So let's open the inspector, and let's go to application. And here inside cookies, here we can see we have this cookie called modern pop-up closed. So once we click on the close button, this cookie was stored inside the browser. So let's just delete this cookie. And now let's go ahead and refresh this page. And now we can see after five seconds, the pop-up was displayed. All right, so this was my experience of creating a WordPress plugin using ChatGPT. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.